everyone. It's Christina from Christina's Art Corner. Welcome back to the channel. I thought I would go ahead and do some things here in Seasons by Hannah Carlson on this page that I started with the Richeson Soft Pastels. I had gone over my pastels with an electric eraser with a stencil to create uh, these little circles here which can be snow uh, but I, I don't want them to be so white. So I'm going to go ahead and use my pan pastels in this blue and it's the pearlescent blue and just see how it turns out. These are fairly new, my iridescent colors, but I figured we would go ahead and use them. And then I may go ahead and start in on the pine needles. And for that, I had happened upon a, maybe a week ago, Colorfully Optimistic's video on this page regarding the pine needles and a little trick that she does for this. So we're going to give her credit for the idea because it wasn't mine. <laughs> but I have our Prismacolor pencils out for that. So we'll do that after. And this is not uh, sprayed or anything. This is just the pastels on there, but I rub them in really good so we don't have any uh, loose powder. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna take this paper towel. We, we get the ones where it's a small sheet and I'm just gonna fold it and create a little applicator with my finger here. And I'm gonna dip into this blue here and let's see what happens when we fill the white with the blue if I like it we shall see and then if I think it's too harsh then I'm going to go over with my blender pastel pan which is this one here I hauled this recently and showed you. It's the colorless blender for pastels. And I've got my washed applicator on here. So we'll see how that does. Okay. And I'm just gonna go a little bit around it too, just so it's not a stark difference. is really just a test and since it's iridescent I thought that would be fun just almost dipped into that skin color <laughs> I'm glad all of you enjoyed my last video where I gave you some haul items and coloring updates since my arm injury and then a little studio tour because I spent some time reorganizing my space when I couldn't color. That's why I figured I could do a little bit of this and be all right. So I definitely won't be finishing this page today, but I thought we could spend some time together and see what happens with this idea here and then see how the technique from Colorfully Optimistic works. It looks very pretty, the shimmer. I went a little careful at first, but I think I'm going to be a little more daring and give it a second coat. This is a no pressure, let's just have fun kind of deal today. So yeah, thank you for all of your lovely comments um, on the video I was just mentioning. 
so nice to hear from all of you and all of your well wishes and hearing that many of you have arm and shoulder issues with coloring too. I guess it's just something artists in general experience at some point. And I'll be working through it. And I figure since I don't have my appointment till Friday for my physical therapy, <laughs> if I wind up, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say hurt myself further, but you know what I mean? If I jack myself up, it'll be okay because I'm going to therapy on Friday. I know, not, not, not good. Not good idea. But hey. I'm an imperfect human and stubborn, uh, which is, I'm sure, why I caught myself in the situation to begin with. But oh well. Okay. So I don't know. Do we? Do we like it? Okay. And then whenever I use the pastels, and let's say I get it somewhere I don't, I just take. A clean end and rub over the area that I was in to get rid of the excess. Okay, all right. I think I'm happy with it. Let's go ahead and pick a spot to do the needles. I guess we could start in the top right hand corner. So the three colors are dark green, olive green, and lime peel. The lime peel is supposed to be a filler, and then these two are supposed to be the actual branches. And you don't color in each branch. You kind of give the effect of the pine needles without following coloring inside each one of them. So, and I thought that would be helpful to my arm. So let's give her a go. I should probably, this is clean, I'm just going to put it over here so I don't get myself pastel-y. Alright, so what she did was flick and switch the pencil around as you flick. Okay, and kind of come from the branch center. And yeah, so we're not following really the illustration as much as we are just coming from the center, following it and flicking. And then after you do this part, then you do like a Posca pen or something white to give your snow effect on the edge. Okay. So it's going to look like a hot mess at first, from what I understand. So we're not going to freak out and I say that to myself. <laughs> in this moment. Okay. So then we're going to go in with our olive green and they need to be sharp. And I just want to create these flicks and we'll try to go in the direction somewhat but we don't have to because pine needles go in all different directions, don't they?
Okay. I think... Just getting a little braver as I start filling in. Okay. All right, I might go just a few more flicks of the green because I wasn't as brave initially. And I'm moving the pencil all around. She was saying she did this technique for any and all pine needly Christmas tree pages in any book. So, okay. Now lime peel is supposed to be our filler. So, Need to sharpen a little bit. Also, I think the lime peel winds up giving kind of your glow effect. Behind the needle, so. go on this end and just hit it a couple more times. I think it's just to the way that's of your liking. How much you like of each color. So you want to make sure that you're not kind of patterning your flicks, as I'm understanding, which makes sense. Okay, I think... Just a few more lime green. Let's. Okay. And then as far as the center part goes, we're gonna be covering that up with the Posca <clears throat> pen. Okay. All right. Let's see what our Posca does. I want to make sure I have a fine one. So we're going to go in and make some flicks.
Okay. I think you could probably go crazy with this part as one can easily do with the Pascas. All right. Let's just lift it up here a second so you can see. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to extend some of these. I'm going to extend some of these. Ooh. Out further. on me or something. It's like watery. I think, so. I think that's why that my first round of doing this didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted. Let's try a different one. Ah! Don't you love when you take the cap off and you just get this big blob? this one here and get away from that area just a little bit so that we can let it dry now I'm going to be careful around the mouse best I can too There's probably an argument for doing your other elements first, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, now let's go back with our olive green. All right, let's go another lime peel. <laughs> Good old Prismacolor for breaking on me. I can't do the hand crank. Oh my gosh. I can't do the hand cranking for a sharpener. That's why I use my electric. So, gotta live with some broken lids. I 
It's an awful lot of accommodation when you injure your arm in there for coloring, cooking. go in all different sorts of directions here because you know once you watch someone do something then you gotta you basically need to find the best way it works for you you know and that's I think that's important to follow what someone does but then you might find yourself gravitating do something slightly different than they do, but still getting the same effect. Let's not reinvent, reinvent the wheel or anything, but. Okay. make sure I have enough random flicks so it looks a little more natural especially on these sides here okay maybe a couple more dark green flicks Okay, let's do our Pasca. Okay, far so good, huh? So I think what I'll do is I'll shut down. I'll shut us down here and I'll do the rest of it and come back and see how it looks. Okay, we're back. And here 
is our pine needles all finished and I figured maybe we'll since I'm feeling all right to do it we'll go ahead and start coloring in some mice and let me just expand you here and go over into this little cute mouse here we've got this guy here on the bottom left now I had some of my Posca's uh, splatter but that's okay because in the end I'm gonna splatter some uh, either Windsor and Newton white ink or my uh, bleed proof white so for the mice For the ears, inside the ears, I'm going to use the Clay Rose and the Deco Pink. I have my Karen Dash Full Blender. That's my favorite blender. And then I have a black. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, the white. And then as far as my grays, I picked the 20% Warm Gray, the 50% Warm Gray, and 70% Warm Gray. So I think I'm going to start out with my light here and kind of give it a coating of the light. Super light handed. And go into the hair on the ear. And then come into body area here. Circular motions. I'm kind of going to go in the center, so whatever I want to make darker or lighter, I can. <clears throat> All right, let's go in with the 50% warm gray. On the very edge of the hair on the ear and then I think I want to give him some shadows around his eye his mouth and get his hair here And then along his little necklace, his jewels, or her jewels. Okay. And let's see here. Go on the bottom here. And then I want to make this a little darker here. And then on the outside. Now I think I want to start out with uh, the deco pink on the tail. I'm going to go down the center with the pink. And go into the center of the ear.
And then I want to take the clay rose and I want to get these edges. And then I want to go back with the deco pink and butt up against that clay rose. Okay. And then I want to do the same to the tail. I want to take the clay rose on the outer. And then I want to take the deco pink and give it just a little blend here on the center. It's funny because my mom actually doesn't like mice. It's one of her fear animals. And whenever I color mice in my coloring books, she sees on Facebook when I post it to my Christina art, uh, Christina's art corner on Facebook. Uh, and she comments, I, I didn't think that I would like you coloring mice, but they wind up turning cute. <laughs> so she accepts my mice. <laughs> Isn't that all that matters if your mom doesn't like mice, but you make them cute enough that she can tolerate them, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now I want to go in my 70% gray and just darken up the very edge here. And then on the bottom of the arm, now they have pink feet sometimes, so I'm taking the deco, 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 and then I'm going to take clay rose and kind of go in between in the knuckle area and then give him a, a soft pink highlight on the tip if I can there we go okay back to our 70% here Give that a little branching out here. Okay, let me see this area here. Is that another paw? This part here? I think it might be. We're going to make it paw anyway. 
because he's holding on. All right. And then I'll go in with my 70% gray and I'll just go around these fingers here. see here. This finger's a little covered by the pine needles. <clears throat> All right. Now let's go back in to our 50% and start bringing that out here. And then I want to bring it up on the face. And through the ear, outer ear. Okay, I want to go a little darker on the edges again and redefine that. Go on the inner ear portion. Okay, now I want to go in with my lightest, which is the 30% warm gray, and blend. I'm going to hit this with a little white first. And this area here along with these areas so that I can't get them too dark all right and then go back with the 30 and start bringing that a little bit into the tail so we've got a blend there. And this area here needs a little white. Then once I feel like I have enough of the colored pencil, on here. Let me go back with the 50% gray right here. And these sex and set sections. Give it a touch of white. Okay. Let's give him some white around here too. I 
just prevents me from going too dark. Okay, I want to do my 50% and go right up against that line that I've created with the shadow. All right, now I'm going to go in with my Caran d'Ache blender after I stick a little more deco pink on here, a little more clay rose, and then I'm going to start to blend in. do this okay I'm gonna start with my lighter area actually I'm gonna put a little black just for a little more definition here basically want to have your colors in place before you start getting your blending action going so that's what I'm doing all right and I try not to bear down too much I just want to get rid of the white of the paper And I kind of take my finger to in between colors so that I don't get like gray on a pink and vice versa. So I don't drag color where I don't want it. Following that around. All right, I want to give him kind of a black, a darker black area around here. Oh, 
And then for the nose, I want to do clay rose. And deco. Okay, I think he's looking pretty sharp. Just have a few more blending opportunities up here. All right, I think we gave him a cute face. I'm just going to define these whiskers and his mouth. Give him some little extra wisps and dots. Now, as far as his or her necklace, I think I want to do red. Let's make it festive. I'm going to do Crimson Lake. <clears throat> and then maybe a raspberry. I need a lighter color here. I might be able to use my deco pink for a a blending okay let me just piece of paper that's our crimson that's our raspberry and our deco So the raspberry is darker. Okay. So let's do inside here with the raspberry. And then I'm gonna go in with the Crimson Lake just around that. And then just enough room for the deco pink. Yeah. And I guess we, we could make that a metallic. Uh, I have so many choices for metallics. I think we probably want to go with a gold. So let me just pick up this gold. And give him, give him or her a flashy gold rim. Okay, and then we'll take um, a uniball. All right, so let's give this little action here on the pupil and then highlight. on there. Give one more go around with the, the gold. Give this a white edge.
Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and maybe work on this one. Let's work on that one. So I'm going to go in with my lighter here. All right. Well, I take that back. I'm going to go with a dark edge and then go light around this. I'll just follow the dark right into the ear, like I did the other one, and then go on the inside of the ear. Okay, let's do the same here. Dark. The edge of this fur a little dark. Same over here. Okay. I just need to do a better job around here. And then I'm going to follow that down the body where these these peaks of hair Got some fur up here. All right. And then I'm going to go right next to that with my 50% here. And I'm going to bring that down on the face. A little bit at a point, give me some character, <laughs> and then follow wherever I've put darkness. Making sure that I leave room for some lighter areas. Okay, and then I'm going to take the black so that I can define this eye area.
And then let's do the tip of the nose, deco. And then clay rose also. And then let's take clay rose on the edges. The ears. All right, and then let's get our deco pink. All right. And then I want to go with my lightest and have this handy. So on this area here, I want to give them a light stripe that goes down about here. Where else do I want to give them a little white here? And then, yeah, then I'll start filling in with our 30%. Let me just get a little white on the edge. There we go. And I'm going to go back with my darker and redefine that fur. And around this gem. Okay, and then go with the light. Actually, I might get the uh, fifty percent right behind the ear. And then go back to my 30%. Okay, I need to hit that tail. So I'm going to do my clay rose on the exterior. And then I'm going to hit that with the deco pink. And bring that into the body a little bit. And it's showing some fur on the tail on this one. So I'm going to go in with the 50% warm gray and give that a couple of touches. Right now, I feel like this needs to be darker. Around 
from this ear. And make sure this fur is dark enough. I'm going to go back 50. On either end and then take it over here and then I'm gonna go with my lightest actually just want to make sure I have dark on this end too. All right, now we'll go in with the lighter. And sort of blend that in. Same here. All right, and then I'm gonna take my blender. Let me, don't forget his little hand. Where's my clay rose? Okay. Let's start blending. Now while I'm blending, I'm just going to make sure that I keep adding a little darkness here because I don't want to lose it when I'm blending. And I want to bring my white here so I don't lose that lightness. find some of these furs again with the black. Let's do that here too. Okay. Okay, I think we have some effect of fur, at least some general feel for fur. And now I think I want to do the same colors here. So I want to go the raspberry.
and then leave room <clears throat> for deco. There we go. And then let's give some, um, tell you what, I want to make the center of this black. And then we'll go in with the gel pen. All right, and then let's get our uniball. This one back. Okay. Okay. And then we just want to do a little bit of eyeball action. And then with my black. I want to redefine whiskers. Gave him some eyebrow action. <laughs> I think I might do a little bit of the 50% warm gray. Right there. I'm just going to flick it down this way. So there's two mice down. I'm gonna do this one here. So let's go in with our light. Boy, there's lots of fingers on that one. Eh, he's got his toe paws up there, okay. All right, let's just do some light here, some light here, and then I'm going to go on either side of the nose, and I'm going to give him a highlight here on the ear. Oh, that's my heavy hand in place. Okay. All right. Then let's go in with my darkest and start lining fur.
Okay, then we'll go down here. By the way, I'm going in heavy first because to try to save my arm, that may not make sense, but multiple layers is where I run into trouble. So I'm trying to prevent some of that in case you're wondering. All right, while I'm at the tail, let's take our clay rose. And line our edges. And then go in with our deco pink. And let's do that on the nose. Here. Okay, and then in the ears, clay rose, Let's go in with our darker for the eyebrows. Get inside his eye there. And then we've got some fur underneath on the side. toes so I want to go with deco on the edges okay and then maybe a hint of clay rose around the bed of the nail and then I'm gonna do A medium gray bottom and then the lightest gray on the top okay all right so I need to go in with my 50% around all the places again where I went dark and I see hair that I missed probably hear my doggo he's probably wondering where I'm at oh uh, let's see here ok 
Okay, and then I want to go in with the darkest around the gems. And then the 50%. Outlining here. I'm trying to make each of their little faces a little different from one another. I'm gonna go in with the light underneath the eye and around. This needs to be darker. And I need the 50% to go around here. This is lighter. I'm actually gonna take the white. Make sure that stays light. Okay. All right. Now I need to take the fifty percent around the rest of this part of the body. I have more nails here. And then clay rose. And then we need the 50% in the tree so I'm not going to worry about defining that too much. Uh, okay. Alright. Now let's go with our lightest for the rest. And then I want to do a little definition over here. Okay, now let's take our blender. I think I need a little more pink on the tail. A little more clay rose. Go into the ears. Okay, need to do my lighter ear area.
just going to take one of my uh, greens from earlier and hit this. A little bit, there we go. Okay. All right, go back and redefine. Okay, let's do the gem. So we need our raspberry. I guess we'll go with the darkest on the bottom. And then our peach. Okay. And then a little more raspberry. All right. And then we want to do our black. Like I did the other one. Black. Black. And then let's do our gold. And let's get our uniball out. Make our highlight. might go ahead and give a few highlights on the tips of these paws here. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so we have our mice done. So what do you think? Are you liking it? I think they turned out pretty cute. I can bring them up a little closer to you. Tried to give each one a little different face. <laughs> I think they turned out cute. So I think the next thing that I will do will be the candy canes. And I might actually use the same that I used for their gems, um, just to keep it cohesive. And uh, then maybe do some gold bows. And then we have the ornaments. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, thank you to uh, Colorfully Optimistic for her pine needle uh, cheat. Uh, that really helped me be able to do those with my arm situation. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see me continue working on this page. And I'll see you in the next one. You all take care. Bye-bye.